Elementor just released the Elementor Pro version 3.6 and there is an interesting feature that enables you to set up a preloader for your Elementor website. Note that this is only available for the Elementor Pro users. In the preloader, you are able to set up different kind of preloaders for your Elementor website like an animation or using an icon or even an image, including GIF animations. You can set up a speed for your preloader, the delay for your preloader, and the color for your preloader, including the size of your preloader. It can be big, can be smaller, whatever you want. You can as well set up the background color of your page once it's loading. In this case, it's a black color, but it's a little bit transparent. So let's jump straight into the video and I'll show you different ways you can use these preloaders in your Elementor website. Back into our Elementor dashboard, we are going to go straight to the Elementor menu option in WordPress and we go to settings, go to experiments and scroll down below here to enable the page transitions. Make sure that it is set to active, then save changes. Now we'll open up any of our pages with Elementor. We'll come to pages. I'll open up my about page and edit with Elementor. Come to the hamburger icon at the top and click on the site settings. You should note that the page transitions and the preloader are a site-wide settings for Elementor for now. That means that you cannot set up this preloader for only a single page or a section in your Elementor website. Now that we are inside our site settings and the page transitions, this is where we can enable our preloader. But before we enable a preloader, we can set up a background color for our preloader. We'll come back later to this option. Let's go inside our preloader. And for now, it is set to none. However, when I set to animation, then I'm given options to choose from. For example, an animation that has bouncing dots, an animation that has pulsing dots, a pulse, an overlap, spinners, and a lot more. Let me first update for now and you look at how the bouncing dots animation would look like in your Elementor website. Now when I click on the about page, you realize those bouncing dots appearing. So we can further customize on how the animation can be and the color of the dots. Back inside our site settings, we're going to first of all decrease on the speed of the animation. I'll make it 1150. We're not going to delay our preloader. And we are going to change the color of our bouncing dots to white. We can as well increase the size of our bouncing dots to about 100. I'll come back to my home page and voila. Now you see that our dots have changed the color and the size of our dots has increased. Under the animation, I'm going to change the animation for our dots to, let me say, nested spinners. I'll update. Now we have nested spinners as our preloader for our Elementor page. If we increase on the speed of our animation for our nested spinners and I update, I come to our about page. You see that now our nested spinners are way faster than they were before. Back inside our preloader, I'll change from the nested spinners to a progress bar and set the animation speed to 1000 so you have an idea on how other preloaders look like. I'll update, come back into our home page. When I click on the home, that's how our progress bar looks like as our preloader. I'll change the type of our preloader from animation to an icon. And we can choose from a number of icons from the icon library. For now, I'm going to leave at this and I'm going to change its animation from pulse to spinning. And let's go straight and preview. That's how our spinner icon looks like on reload as our preloader. We can further do a number of changes on our preloader as the preloader delay, the animation, in this case, I'm going to change the color of our preloader to a green and I'm going to update. And now let's go and preview. You see how that changes to another color. Now back into our preloader, I'm going to change the type of our preloader to an image. And I'll choose an image from my media library and I'll insert that image. And I'll select an animation type for my image. In this case, I'm going to use pulse as the animation type. I'm going to leave everything over here on the default settings. And now let's go and preview how this looks like. To our home page, there is our image showing up in our preloader. If you're not seeing a preview of what you're setting up over here, just make sure that you reload the page and come back to the site settings and then you'll be able to have a preview of whatever you're setting up. In this case, I'm going to change the animation type and I'll choose a bounce. 
and I can as well increase on the size of my image or the preloader. You can as well reduce on the opacity of your preloader image. And we can as well change the background type of our preloader. In this case, we can change to maybe a more transparent color. I'll update. Have a look at our website. I will load my homepage. You see that now our preloader background changes and our image as well turns to be a little bigger. Maybe you have a question like, can you use a GIF image as your preloader for your website? Answer is yes. In this case, I'm going to first of all go back here to my page transitions. I'm going to change the color to a black color. I'm going to come to my preloader. I'm going to remove this. I'll use this custom GIF that I uploaded to my website. I'll insert it over here. So I can choose the animation type. In this case, I'll use a spin. And I'm going to change the speed to maybe about 2500. I can increase the width or the size of the spinner. And I'll further reduce on the animation speed of the spinner. I'll update for now. I'll come to the preview. Awesome, there it shows up. As well, you can disable the animation. You can either reduce the animation speed to zero or you can simply disable the animation up here. Let me update to our home page to preview our changes. My page is really fast, so it's hard even to notice the change. But if you can observe, you will see that the GIF is actually animating. One thing I would like to mention is that if you're going to choose a GIF, make sure that the GIF is transparent so that it doesn't completely black out your website visitor from having a preview of your website. I'll remove this. I'll change my preloader to an animation and I'll choose a progress bar. And I'll set the animation to 2000 or the speed for my preloader to 2000 and I'll update. Come back to our home page and reload. Awesome, this looks way better. Before we close up this tutorial, let's look into the responsive settings of our preloader. With the responsive mode selected, I'll select my tablet, which is the tablet device. And as you can see here, you have the mobile device selected under the size option. I can choose to increase or decrease. Now, this is only affecting the tablet device. Let me do the same on the mobile device. I'll increase further on my dots. This also applies to all the other animation types that you've used. For example, in case you use an icon or an image. Back to my size option for the mobile. I'll decrease this further. All right, now I'll update. I'll go to my preview page. And I'll preview this on the mobile device. As you can see, when I navigate to my home page, our preloader looks neat. Even on return to the about page, our preloader still looks neat. Previewing this on a Samsung Galaxy tab. Awesome. Going to the home page, our preloader looks neat and responsive. And also, if we reload to our about page, our preloader still looks nice and neat. In a nutshell, that's how you can set up a preloader for your Elementor website using the Elementor Pro version 3.6 and above. If you like this tutorial, make sure that you give it a like. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss out on new videos when I push them out. Have a good time and goodbye.